Hello and welcome to the Railway Men. Another season with the Diddy. We had a very good pre-season, as you can tell, winning all our games quite comfortably. Edging past also, which isn't great. Uh, we're playing at Stadium MK this season while we improve our stadium. And uh, we're meant to be training at Milton Keynes as well. But I don't know if that's happening and... Uh, Chances are I'll just cancel this affiliation, or maybe. Can I... Okay, we can't do that. We'll probably just cancel cancel that. But oh, I can. That's that's an interesting thing I never knew about. Anyway, so we play Tottenham. I'll show you some of our transfers. Uh, we've got this guy, Wellington, coming in when he turns 18. He's a decent young 17-year-old. Uh, bit of a bargain, which is always what we're going to look for. Now, out. Oliver went to Brentford. Otavio, Shakhtar, for big money. Chris Olm, to Montpellier for big money. Jefferson to Montpellier for big money. And we load out some of our other players. Oh, we'll get to Michael Duff later. He's, he's quite an interesting one. Uh, Malay. We'll start off with goalkeeper French. Signing from Monaco. I have no idea how Monaco got him on a free. He's an absolute beast. And yeah, no, for now. I think we'll be able to do better at some point, but he's a good option. Murray Gunn. Strike. He was much better than the scout report used to say. But, you know, he's a decent backup and he is homegrown, I do believe. He's British, that's all that matters. Uh, Josh Wood. We spent big, big, big money on him from Tottenham. Uh, Scottish defensive midfielder. Played in England for a long time. Galal from uh, Michelin. Young goalkeeper, backup goalkeeper. He's apparently a wonder kid, so that, that's good when he's only, you know, not even four star potential. Well, actually, uh, Dimba, Brazilian Cam, we brought in, he'll play a part, I mean, look at some of those stats. Yes, he's deteriorating, but he could be huge. Kevin Gonzalez from Brighton, new centre-back, he's now a British citizen, which is good. Ekliner, we know about him, a uh, bit of a beast. Physically, one of the best fullbacks I've ever, ever owned. Luis Paolo, backup cam, uh, decent, not bad, could come into the first team if needed. And then Michael Duff is a young striker. He's not bad, he could get quite good, he could not. And Adair went on loan to Wednesday. He's a decent player on most championship sides, so he's, he's pretty much fulfilled his potential. As you can see, Gutierrez is still a wonder kid, but... Yeah. Uh... The tactics... This is what we got, we've got at the moment. Kevin on got Gonzalez can come in for a roll, though. Just for now. And yeah, no, this is our squad. It's decent. I think it's decent. We've got some good depth now. And yeah... When Sobek's that bad, you know it's good. Because <laughs> he's an absolute beast. Canella as well. Like, he was... Him and Moiser have been amazing for so long. Canella's obviously the... Uh... Very good player. Same with Denny's Moiser. So those two can rotate. They're good options. And uh, yeah, Community Shield, we lost last year. Hopefully we can win it this year. Because this is the year we need to become genuinely dominant. We 
we need to become a top team in Europe this year. Golo! Uh, just having him in our team is great, but that is a terrible goal. Ward against his former club with an assist, but again. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sauce! Oh! That was, that was awful. If Wood had scored that, if it had gone straight through, like that would be a bloody good goal. But unfortunately, it's it's fluffed its way in. We'll take it, obviously, but, you know. Canela. Serbuk. Ooh. Can obviously head a ball on Serbuk. Decent, decent, decent half. We are beginning to look like a top side, which is something good. I don't want to jinx it as Tottenham are attacking, so I won't say anything just yet. Good save. But we're, we're really solid defensively. I think our defence is really good. Obviously it comes down to a matter of opinion. But yeah, no, I, I think... Our back four is a lot better than it was. Dimba. 19 dribbling. Collar. Oh, what a goal, Francois Collar. I'm going to really like Dimba, I think. He might be a bit Flavio Antonio-esque in the way that he drops off. But that's a great run and gets past his man. Ball in. Buried. <clears throat> oh, it's kind of still early morning when I'm recording this for me. So, yeah, I'm I'm struggling to, you know, I've just gone out of bed basically. So I'm a bit, uh, but I've got a lot to do today. Triple change just because there are some good players I want to rest. You know, we've we've got a tricky start to the season actually. We play three of the bigs, the the big six. In the first couple of weeks of the season, we'll probably come back for like Chelsea and Man City, for example. I think that was a foul on Malay there, but. I mean, just poor keeping, to be honest, but that'll matter. Or at least I hope it won't matter. Tottenham do have a chance. Wood with a good tackle. Sends it long. Moisa. Free kick to us. Number one in the trophy cabinet. Ultimately, I want the best three managers of all time come the end of the series to be me, me, and me. Because the Hall of Fame shows it like that. And hopefully me from, I don't know, something else. We're now in the England Hall of Fame. Considering it's still early days. Two Premier Leagues, two FA Cups, a Championship, a League Cup. 
yeah, there's the community shield. So, next episode, I think we'll come back for... Should we do Chelsea and City? I think that'll make sense. I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.